After 35 years in the NYPD, I retired as chief of detectives, and I've seen countless homicides throughout this city. There's a transition. It's a 24 and 7, and now all of a sudden you're not 24 and 7. Through this, this program we're doing here, you're still working cases, your craft. You're explaining it to people how you go about working a big case. The art of an investigation is important as well. And what detectives are up against and what real detectives are, not scripted actors. Just the facts of the case makes you kind of shake your head and say, I didn't see that coming. I would suggest to any police department to have your detectives separate from your patrol because detectives are different. They're trained in communication, they're trained in evidence collection, they're trained in, uh, in speaking to people, and they're also, when you go home at night, you can leave that until the next day. Detectives are still in your head, your case is still in your head, you can't get it out of your head. There's some very stark differences between the two, and to keep them separate, to understand that, I think is important. We were outraged, telling them, no, 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 you're barking up the wrong tree, go find the guy who did this. So there's no really um, substitute for shoe leather, as we say. You have to go out and make your case. So a lot of it's going out in the street, talking to people, getting information, which is what it's all about, and then developing that into evidence if you can.